In this Taken Care tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to use the TK Raise function to swap between multiple frames in the same window. Now, normally when we want to create a new frame, a new window, what we do is, you know, actually create a new window using t the top level widget. But sometimes we just want to use the same window and we want to just change what's currently being displayed. Okay. Now, this can make for some very interesting applications where when you click on a button, for example, instead of opening a new window, what happens is that we just change what's on the current window. It's like we take out that frame, store it somewhere temporarily, and then put in a new frame that gets shown. And this is all done without any, you know, it's all done in a very quick and easy manner. Okay. It's, it's not slow at all. Now, I've already written some of the code out beforehand because there's a, we have to create a multiple frames over here. So I just wrote out half of it beforehand. Let me just walk you through it. We have our first frame over here. We have a second frame over here, which I just created them as classes with a single label. Okay. And they inherit from frame, which basically just means that they're frames. Okay. So we have these two frames here, and now I want to swap between these two frames on my main window. Okay, the main window is features a main frame, then a bottom frame, and inside this bottom frame we have a button. Okay, and inside the main frame we're going to be displaying our frames. Now, hold on, I need to remove that. I forgot to remove that when I was copy pasting the code over. All right, so if I run our code now, we just get this empty window with a button, okay, that doesn't do anything currently. And what we want to do is show our different frames here. Okay, so I put these labels in here so that we could tell which frame is currently being displayed. Now what I'll do first is create a frame list, okay? And inside this list, we're gonna create our frames, okay? which are basically being represented as classes here. Well, I mean, frames are classes after all. So we'll just pass in the parent, which is main frame. And then we'll, we'll create the second window, pass in main frame as the parent. All right. And now we have this list of frames. Okay. This is necessary because we need to swap between them. Right. So we need to have them stored somewhere. Now what I'll do is self dot frame list dot forget. Hold on, sorry. This one, dot forget. Now what this does is forgets about the, about the second frame because, you know, indexing starts from zero. So this is the first frame and this is the second frame, okay? So what we're doing is forgetting about the second frame because right now by default, we want to show the first one. If we wanted to show the second one by default, we could make this, you know, zero and it would forget the first one, okay? So, but for now, we'll forget about the second one. All right. And now I'm going to create a function over here. Command is equal to self dot change window. Okay. Now we're going to define this function change window. All right. And self as the parameter. And over here, I'm just going to leave that empty for now. Let me just run our code. What do we got currently? Okay, so as you can see here, just like I said, window one is being displayed. Okay, that makes sense, right? Window one is being displayed because remember we packed them over here. Okay, we packed our widgets over here. So if I didn't do this, for example, what would happen? Let's see. Let me just comment that out, run our code. And now we get both of them. Okay, we don't want that. We want only one to display at a time. So I'm going to uncomment that now, run it again, and there we go. All right. And just like I said, if I make if I make this zero, window two displays instead. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is create a new variable over here called index. This is going to track the current window that's being displayed. All right. So if we have a uh, window one being displayed, index will be zero. Okay. And if window two is being displayed, then index will be one. Okay. So if I come over here now and in change window, 
what I'm going to do is self.index, give it a new value. All right, self.index plus one. And I'm going to, you know, perform the modulus operation on this. Okay, with the length of the frame list. Because if we have like, uh, if, if I click, if I keep clicking on this button, and if I just do index is equal to index plus one, we'll eventually go up to like 10, 20, 100, infinity. But we need this to loop back around, if that's what you want. Or, or what you can also do is that once you reach the end of the list, you, you just stop there or whatever, it's up to you. But I'm gonna make it so that it loops around. We go to frame one, frame two, frame three, frame four, then loop back around to frame one, frame two, so on, all right? Now, what I'm gonna do first is forget our current frame. Okay, when we uh, want to switch to a new frame, before we do that, we need to forget the current frame. Okay, forget about it first, and then we're gonna update the index value, and then we're gonna call TK raise. And that's where TK raise actually comes into this. TK, without TK raise, this would not be possible. What what's basically going on here is that there's a like there's like a stack order. These frames are being stacked on top of each other. Now what we want to do is bring up the new frame that we want to display. We, we need to bring it up to the top of the stack. We need to bring it to the top of the drawing order. So that's why we call TK raise. We're still not done though. We need to do one more thing. We need to call pack again. Okay, and let me just copy paste that. All right. Now we need to call pack again because once we forget it, once we forget it, then wait, hold on. Am I doing this right? Oh, sorry, pack, right. So once we forget a frame, then we need to repack it because that pack gets undoed basically. So if I run our code now, everything should be working as we planned. If I click switch, we now switch to window two. Great. And we're swapping now. And um, you know what? Just let's make this a bit more obvious. Background is equal to red. Okay, the first window can be red and the second one can be green. All right, watch. Now, obviously, the whole window is not green because we didn't specify that these should expand completely. You do that if you want to. Okay, and just in case you guys are interested in learning more about how frames work and, you know, different techniques like these, I'll leave a few links in the description below. All right, so do check that out because we're done with this video here. I'm just going to do this last thing. Okay, and both. All right, cool. So, oh, oh, I know that I know why this is happening because the container frame. All right, that is weird. Okay, so if I just run this again, and it is still showing up like that, and is it because we raised the padding so much? I think so. I think it's actually working. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. It's because we padded it too much. Uh, whoops, uh, hold on. Let me just undo that. Okay, and there we go. So, all right, so that's that that that's it. All right, cool. So it's working. So that's the end of this video. If you want to see more content like this in the future, make sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye then.